moving on. Um, there is not a truer title for an instrumental because you read the title and then you hear it and you can feel it. Now you told us a little bit of the story just, you know, just five minutes ago. Tell us the whole thing. Well, um, that year, that year was a hard, hard year. Uh, two of the, of the most special people that I've known, uh, both in, in recent part of my life and, and way back in the, in the early days, high school days of life, uh, passed on that year. One was Gary Miller. Uh, the other was Bob Young, uh, who was the, the uh, creator and the moderator and the you know, head member of my men's group. Um, and the, the impact of their passing was, you know, it's hard to measure. But I knew I, at the same time, I was, I was kind of experimenting and, and looking and, and trying to sign, find, I, I, wanted, I thought a keyboard would, would be the best thing. I mean, I've done things on acoustic guitar that, that could have actually maybe said what I wanted to say musically, but I, I really don't have, I, I envy the people who are into keyboards because that there's, you know, there's a, a wide variety of, set, of sounds and genres and stuff like that that you can go to. So I, I, what I did was I went out and I bought, about three discs worth of a piano and organ loops. I didn't really need the organ loops because I love the Joe Vitale stuff, but I wanted the piano loops. And I want you to know, I cruised through those loops for days. And all of a sudden, there was this one part, this one guy, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm ashamed and I don't remember his name, who had a, a, a whole set of progressions uh, and, and little pieces. And he, what he was playing... Uh, not only sounded the way I wanted it to sound, it felt the way that I wanted it to feel. It was inspirational. It was it was sad, but it also, you know, it brought about the whole concept of, uh, I guess you could say, what? Uh, if you're going to reflect, there, there should be times where you're sad, but also there should be moments of affirmation, moments where you actually remember all the good times that, that you had had with people uh, uh, the beauty of, of everything that you had as, as people and, and the collaborations that you had, how beautiful they were, how beautiful they still are and will always remember uh, remain to be. Um, that's, that's what the piano came from. But, you know, but that's, that's not, that's not the, the, the heart, you know, the thing that plucks your heartstrings. To me, uh, I, I gave it to Steve. I said, Steve, I said, uh, I, I wrote this for, for a couple of people who have passed on. Um, I, I need for you to put a string part to this, you know, or, orchestra, orchestra strings. And what I want you to do is to uh, inspire and, and make them cry. You know, in other words, inspire people, uh, you know, let them, you know, fall back on their memory and just really, really enjoy uh, the memory of the things and the people and, and the, the experiences that they had and come out of it not feeling sad, but feeling affirmed or reaffirmation of, of, of all the good feelings that they have for them. And also, um, you know, musically uh, give them an experience that really means something. And he did. I think personally, it was the it was the best string part he had ever created. Uh, he, he still has a lot of great string stuff in him, but that one, without a doubt, uh, when he sent me those tracks, uh, whew, I just, I just loved, uh, engineering them into the song. He, he is, he, it's, it, it, I would, I want to say it's like his masterpiece. I know, but I know he's got more in him that, that maybe there's another masterpiece coming down the road, but that one certainly, uh, is without a doubt, uh, out of all the great string work that he's done, his, his, his best shot, no doubt about it. It really was. I enjoyed hearing that, especially like the second or third time I heard it. I was like, this is really good. Well, the interesting thing about it is uh, I put that song up for, for, you know, out to a couple of companies for licensing, uh, along with a bunch of other songs. It is the only song out of the ocean of songs that, you know, the libraries of people who offer licensing opportunities. It is the only song uh, that I've ever done or put out there that was ever picked up uh, by somebody to use. Um, you know, as a licensed tune, uh, wow. and, you know, and, and the only description I could actually give is, you know, uh, uh, moving song of remembrance, uh, piano and, and, uh, and string, uh, quartet. 
you know, uh, and that, that was it. And somehow they were drawn to it. And when they heard it, they said, this is the one. So I'm really proud of that fact. But uh, yeah, I, I think it's one of the best things that Steve and I have ever done together. And it's so simple. Uh, you know, uh, there's not a lot going on, but there, then again, there's a whole ton of stuff going on in that song. 